So I met uh, Nadira about uh, five years ago, and uh, you know, at, a, at an event with uh, Cond uh, Senator Condonino, um, uh, we were at, sitting at the same table, and you know, I didn't know who Nadira was at the time, and I, you know, I just sat there, and he, she was there with her son, but I noticed that she was very engaged, and I and I knew that this young lady would one day be a candidate for us federally or provincially. I think Nadira will be the candidate for that ride from Oakville and become the next MP for Oakville South. And I, you know, and I'll be there for her, whatever I can do for her and help her to accomplish that goal. Thank you. I have to say, I'll be very brief, I'm thrilled to be supporting Nadira. Um, as Stephen said, I'm president of Women in Politics, and we encourage women to become involved in politics at all levels, so it's always wonderful to have such a quality candidate like Nadira step forward, and um, I just want to say that I've known her for a few years. She's amazing. Her moral compass is uh, right on spot, and um, a great mom, and a great uh, uh, person in business, and I look forward to supporting her in any way I can. I am telling you, if we get behind her, and if the party doesn't make any mistakes, Nadira is going to be the next member of parliament for Oakville once we help her get nominated. And my commitment to her is, as I've been for about 12 years, whatever you need, whatever I can do, I will be there for you. And I hope each and every one of us on this call today not only commit to her, but commit to increase the team so that A, we get her nominated, and then we will all be with her when she gets inaugurated in Ottawa. Thank you for doing this, Nadir. So folks, what I want to do today is really to kind of give a little bit of background about who I am. I'm sure some of you have already seen some of the email blasts that we've been sending, also my website. So I want to dig a little bit more deeper for you to really get to know things that I probably haven't published yet. So for those of you who's hearing the accent, I'm actually originally from the island of Mauritius, which by français, je ne sais pas s'il y a quelqu'un qui parle français sur le, uh, sur le capitaine en ce moment. Non, il n'y a personne qui parle français. Oh, il y a quelqu'un qui parle français, c'est Robert, c'est très bien. So I speak French, French is actually my mother tongue from the island of Mauritius. I've been in Canada for the past 30 years. And I have to say this country has been amazingly good to me. And this is one of the reasons that I want to give back. Uh, I've been in Oakville now for the past 17 years and love the Oakvillians, love living in this community and very engaged in this community. I'm very engaged with Zonta International, uh, Halton's Women's Place, as well as First Street Mission, so for me, it's always about community and it's always about giving back. From a career perspective, actually, I've been uh, at HP now for the past 23 years. And one of the key things that I'm hoping to bring to Ottawa is that experience that I have at a global level, as well as uh, knowing how to get results. Because from a business perspective, it's all about results. We're responsible for a budget. We need to make sure we drive to results and we need to make sure we optimize. And if only our government runs the same way. When I look at the waste, when I look at the lack of focus in our government today, it just shocks me. And a few things about my career that I really want to kind of bring to, to Ottawa is KPI. As a business, we always have key performance index. We're responsible to meet certain metrics. Today, our government has zero scorecard and zero accountability. They just asked for a hundred, I believe, billion dollars to spend with no details about where that money is going to go. And um, a lot of people also ask me, why is it that I am running? And I have to tell you the reason. I, I'm very passionate about where this country is going. As a mother of three kids, I'm very, very concerned about the future of my kids and my grandkids. I remember being able to buy my first condo at the age of 25. I can't see my kids being able to do that nowadays unless they're going further out. And uh, there's some kids that the parents can assist them, but there's also a lot of kids that the parents cannot assist them. 
we need to be able to make that Canadian dream attainable to all. We're going to be potentially in an election, maybe before we're out of the pandemic, certainly before we've recovered from the pandemic. And I think it's going to be really important to have some folks um, in government at that point that have a business perspective on how we recover and how we come out of the pandemic successfully. So putting your business lens on for a minute, can you talk a little bit about the kinds of things you'll be looking for as a federal government for the business community when we come out of this? How do we, how do we restart the economy well? So what we need to do is really to figure out how do we we enable those small business in this new uh, 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 landscape to become much more efficient. So we need to invest and help small middle business to get up on track because they, trip, they are really the backbone of our, uh, of our economy, as you know. Um, being in IT from a business perspective, what I like to bring to the table is uh, being technology, using technology. Nowadays, the brick to mortar because of lockdown, because of certain things, people can walk into those stores. We need to make sure they have a digital presence so that they can continue sell the products or their services. So government needs to be able to enable businesses to pivot, to change so that they can continue business supporting, selling their products and services to consumer in a different platform. And for me, having done digitization at a global level, that's what I will bring to Ottawa. Those are the experience that I will bring to Ottawa about how do we pivot into this new environment and allow them to have the technology that will provide for their business to get back up and running. I think that's a great answer, Nadira. Thanks for that. Because I, I, we see this in the education sector, but it's certainly true in the business sector that a lack of access to up-to-date technology can be a, a huge issue around the quality of opportunity for businesses. There's no question about it, especially when you start to get out of major centers. So appreciate that. Thanks. I'm a very mm -hmm. proud conservative. And I have to mm -hmm. tell you the number of time that I've been told that I look like a liberal is incredible. Every time I hear that, I tell them, you know what, when you cut me, I bleed blue. Because here's the truth. The liberal has done a really good job with identity politics. Right? We need to be able, as proud conservative, to counter that. We need to be able to show people, especially a lot of people, a lot of folks are conservative because they're hardworking Canadian. They just don't know it. We have to have open conversations and make them feel welcome and attract them. And that's one of the things that I want to be able to do in Oakville. I want to be able to share my message through this medium, through social media, Hopefully, uh, we can, I can get, garner a lot of support from the folks that are coming and took the time to come to this coffee talk today, which I really appreciate your time and for you to get to know me. And, and if we run out of time, you don't have a chance to answer, I don't have a chance to answer your questions, I will put up my phone number, feel free to connect with me directly. Because I want you to be able to kind of, I want to be able to answer your questions. And also, I want to be able to kind of share out in Oakville about how we can change things how we can attract a lot more people for them, A, for the conservative to be more active, and B, to be able to attract more people that tends to be moderate to the conservative uh, uh, umbrella. Um, I think that uh, we've had a great discussion here today. And, um, you know, Scott, uh, your, your last uh, sort of comment there, I think, uh, you know, how you outline things, you kind of encapsulated, um, I think, uh, Aaron O'Toole's uh, leadership campaign about, uh, you know, having a, a sensible government um, and being compassionate conservatives, um, as well as focusing on uh, what works in business working in government. Um, and uh, so what I'd, I'd like to just recap with folks here um, is that, uh, of course, you know, uh, we can't, uh, we can't win this riding uh, without the right candidate uh, in place. And uh, I've been involved in, in this riding for 25 years and uh, I've supported a number of candidates. Um, and uh, I think that uh, Nadira is uh, that candidate for, uh, for Oakville that will uh, allow us to defeat a cabinet minister. And I, I will say that the last time I, I thought a candidate could defeat a cabinet minister, we defeated Kevin Flynn. So uh, it's doable. 
uh, and I think Nadira can do it. Um, as as uh, Stephen said, uh, the slide is up with our contact information, our website. Uh, please, um, if you think that, uh, well, I'm sure you all want to see Oakville go blue again, so I would encourage you to go to our website, uh, click on uh, the membership, buy a membership. That will enable you to vote uh, at our virtual nomination meeting. It's going to be online because of COVID. What will happen is that once you have a valid membership, they're going to, uh, uh, at the cutoff time, when they give us the nomination date, uh, they will tell us, uh, they will email everybody who has a valid membership uh, and ask you to upload your ID to prove who you are. So they will give you a PIN number and that PIN number will allow you to vote. Um, and I do hope that, uh, that your vote will be for Nadira at that respect. Uh, please do reach out to us. You can find our, our email address on the website as well. Nadira's direct phone number is on the screen as well. I've also put it in the chat window. Um, if you didn't get a chance to ask a question today, please send us a message or give Nadira a call. We'll, we're happy to talk and chat and answer and address any concerns or answer any questions. Thank you very much for coming today. And in conclusion, to all my friends that are on here, I hope you'll, you see what I see that... Uh, Nadira is an exciting candidate that we could get around and I'm hoping that you join me.